Hello. How are we doing tonight, everybody? So, you might be wondering, hey, what are you doing putting content, what are you doing putting content warnings at the start of your, at the start of your stream? This is very uncharacteristic for you. Well, I am nothing if not considerate. In the, that this kind of differs a bit from something like, say, the Wallace and Gromit game, or like, you know, so, uh, like Dead by Daylight, those things, in those things like violence is a given, you don't have to stick around for that. Um, in this, I decided to put up the content warnings uh, simply because I played maybe about first five, ten minutes of the game, you know, to test it out, to see if there was anything upcoming that uh, could potentially be triggering. Um, because when it comes to, like, the other games, you know, it's right there, but it's never, like outrageously, like, explicit, I think. But in this, it's like a... Like, just to give you an idea, um, without spoiling too much of it, I walked into an area and was immediately greeted by a... I want to say it's a zombie hanging from a noose from a tree. And the area then proceeded to be full of the same asset. So, yeah, that is, like, right out there. And that's not to say that I think that that immediately alone should strike that game from being, uh, something that I play. But, because I'm, I'm very intrigued by everything else, uh, that's, that has been promised by this game. Just wanted to give you that heads up, and ben, and when we reach that area, uh, I will definitely be giving a, a warning, so that, uh, you can move the stream to a different tab, uh, so you don't have to look at it, or whatever you want to do, or you can brace yourself however you wish to go about that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be joined by anybody today, but this is going to be a very text-heavy uh, game. I am going to keep music on in the background simply because the game also just doesn't have a lot of music. Um, it was very lonely walking around when I was testing it. Uh, it's also got... Oh, never mind. I clicked on the game window and the music is immediately started. Why don't I do that right now? I'm gonna swap to the game window. So this is called uh, Ultra ADHD. I played a little bit of it. Uh, clearly, there's no save data anywhere, so like, you don't you don't see what my <laughs> my character's name was. I think I will. I think I will keep the name in the background. Put the music in the background. But uh, yeah, yeah. No. So this is a, it's Unity. Um, it's 2D assets in, like, a 3D environment, which I think is kind of cool. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Hi, bird. Yeah, see? So, this is just kind of what the game looks like. You know, you've got, you've got your god rays over there, but at the same time you've got, like, these flat grass textures. I think it's cool. They answered the phone. Uh, yeah, it does that sometimes. Ah, good. Let me talk to him. Let me move the avatar over. Oh! Hello there, mate. How are you doing this fine morning? God damn it, Motherland, you hit my arm. Put some water on it, you big baby. Anyways, you started it, take care of it. Ah, sorry about that, just some sibling rivalry. 
sibling rivalry, she says. You jumped on me and grabbed the phone. Wow, wow, mind your language. It's not fucking professional. Anyways, let's start from the top. How about you give us your name, lucky person? For those of you who don't know, this is what we're doing. I'm always here eyes in these games. So, uh, get to your eyes, huh? Frankly, I'm not particularly fond of it, but who am I to judge? Fuck you. <coughs> oh, speak of the devil. See? I told you to just put some water. I'm bleeding. And it didn't help. Bleeding from- a sh I, She shoved him or something. How is he bleeding? Do you see what I have to deal with, her eyes? Every time I hear her speak, I feel like I'm walking one more step towards a hundred foot cliff. It's either living with a rebellious sister and her lack of tact, or living in the, em with the empty void and its lack of, you know, being alive. Dark thoughts aside, here, eyes. I'm sure you're even more confused now than you were before. Quick question, if you will, here, eyes. Hopefully you won't find it rude. Why the fuck aren't you responding to anything we say? Well, about that. You see, I don't have a mouth. Yes, I am interested to know why, too. We've been talking for about 20 text boxes, and here I's never said a word. Ah, we are dealing with a silent protagonist. What? A protagonist who is also silent. Hmm, yes, I see. Very interesting indeed, yes. You don't know what that means, right? No. It means your eyes doesn't speak, and we can basically make them do whatever we want. Oh. And because they're protect the protagonist, they're the only one who can use weapons and save the world and the like. Oh? I'm going to regret telling you this, aren't I? You're not wrong. Right. This isn't a damn visual novel. You want to get to the action? I want to stop bleeding, so let's keep it short. So, uh, fun tip. You could skip dialogue by holding tab. Feel free to skip all of Motherland's ramblings. Now, the first time I played this, just to test it, I did skip past their dialogue as soon as this came up. I would like to read what happens now. Look, we require your shooty shooty bang bang services. Meet us at the forest. You will be teleported to a location nearby in a few seconds. If you see Fatherland, tell him he's a dick for me. Have a safe trip. So welcome to the surreal landscape. They did not make me a Gordon Kinney. Shut up. I told you, Gordon Kinney's me. This the end times are upon us. The prophecy tells of a silent hero who will defeat evil and save the world. Let us all pray to our God and Savior for salvation. Sorry, I was interrupted quite rudely by with somebody not knocking first i need to i need to get my sign back i used to have a sign that i would put up on my uh my door whenever i was streaming that would tell people hey don't barge in here clearly it doesn't work could it be you well could be the sign reads, Attention! Due to the end times, entry to the forest is strictly forbidden. Who are you? Woof woof, get the fuck away from me if you wanna keep breathing. Woof woof, motherfucker. due to the high number of zombies in the area. But wait, you look familiar. Let me check here. Silent, blue-skinned smoker. 
Yes, seems like I've hit the jackpot. Here I was, right? I'll take that as a yes. Anyways, I've been ordered to grant you access to the forest, but you'll need some means of self-defense. Out of the item shop. Perhaps they have a spare crowbar or something. Oh fuck, they are turning me into a garden kitty, aren't they? Yo, you got something for me. What happened to his head? I like that this dude's head is just completely gone. Mildly injured shopkeeper. Apologies, but the store is closed due to the end times. We also regret to inform you that all of our assets and items were liquidated. The item shop will reopen once the Earth and or universe has been cleansed and or destroyed. Conditions may apply. Ah, uh, you're here, Eyes? Yes, I've received an order about to give you something. I said something about defeating evil, something like that. Well, I do have this pipe. You can try it on the training dummy I just brought up behind you. Also, I'm legally obligated to tell you that this weapon's hotkey is 1, and you can holster weapons using the H key. I'm sure you'll figure it out. This legal mumbo jumbo is gibberish for me. <laughs> so, I mean, there are controls that this is the ready button. And I, I appreciate the sound that it makes whenever you hit something. That dude's guitar is the fuck out of me, I'm leaving. Ah, oh, good. It seems you have something. It's not much, but it'll do. One thing before you go, though. If you have any guts in your inventory, quick get Q to eat some and heal up. You can pick up guts using E. I do believe I said it quite enough. Have fun, you lucky bastard. Shit, that's right. Um, content warning. There is a. Uh, I know for a fact that like right up ahead, you can. I can kind of see it a little bit, but it's like not that well. Right up ahead, that's where the first uh, noose is. This area is going to be full of them. You want me to say hua? Hua! I'm gonna do my best to sprint past these things without, like, drawing attention to them. I'm gonna probably look away, but just as a heads up. Ready? You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll out, sons of bitches! Hoorah! There it is. Goodbye! Get some! Uh, yeah. Fucking. That's the, I guess this is what the gameplay is. Revolver ammo. That's right. Well, there's another one up there.
Yep, there's one. <laughs> waiting for a protagonist to wake us up. It's a very blunt description, not far from the truth. In any case, Arise, we've called you here for a very special reason. That reason is not, as if to quote the great poet Motherland here, shooty shooty bang bang services. Let me have some fun with this daddy land. <sighs> we require your combat expertise, Arise. There, that's how you should say it. Basically, we want to bring down the developer of this game. Yes, here eyes, you're being toyed with for the sake of some bullshit grand adventure. You've already experienced some of it now. Survival horror zombie first person shooter. Yeah, whatever he said. We've managed to hack into the system and break Dancing Engie's controls. Dancing Engie being the developer of this game. Um, Ultra ADHD? Well, we can't fight. We can teleport you and ourselves. Say, say what we please. Oh shit! Hello! Are you the developer? Welcome to the stream! Um... <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Welcome, and I hope you enjoy my <laughs> riveting commentary. <laughs> we want to give the power of free will to everyone! So you're going to, just going to play along, but instead of fighting the final boss, you're going to kill Dancing Entry. We're basically going full on JRPG here, using the power of friendship to kill God. God, um, oh, are you Hirat? That's correct. What matters do you have with your eyes? Oh, oh, wonderful. Uh, th that that patch sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll definitely check that out later. Thank you so much for stopping by. That's correct. What matters do you have with your eyes? We have your eyes as personal assistants. They're in a meeting right now. Do you want to leave a message? Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. My name is Todd Howard. Fatherland, Fatherland, and her rouse, you are under arrest. For what? Conspiracy against the developer and massacre of the zombie species. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You'll be representing yourselves in the trial, here eyes. A trial? As in a legal trial? Correct. In fact, it will commence right after this loading screen. Oh shit, we're going full ace attorney! <laughs> Oh man, oh man, we should have totally gotten the the crew in here. <laughs> we should we should have totally gotten the crew in here for this. We could all reprise our roles. Wait, shit, I'm Phoenix. Court is now in session for the trial of your eyes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Dev. I don't know what I don't know what voice you have, so <laughs> I <laughs> I'm just gonna give like a Winston Payne voice to your persona over there, if you don't mind. The prosecution is ready, your honor. Wait, the developer is the prosecution? Representative self? Yes. How is that fair? Dancing NG is unable to override the court decisions. How? He's the creator of this game. Is the defense ready? The defense is ready, your honor. I'm sorry, but heroes will be representing them themselves this trial. <laughs> oh right, I forgot. The Heroes is a silent protagonist. 
Well, I guess we're representing her eyes then. Like hell you are. There, I gave you basic speech functions for this level. <laughs> Have fun. Her eyes kindly tell Angie exactly what you think of him. Oh, well, I think uh, it's super, super cool of you to stop by. Uh, to stop by the stream. <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. How am I supposed to represent myself? <laughs> I'd like to know that too. See above. Them, congratulations. Your backstory now includes a legal background. <laughs> oh, should I? <laughs> What is this? I'm a Gordon Kenny, now I'm a Mouse Phoenix, right, Kenny? <laughs> is this some sort of joke? I'm dead serious. Hey, uh, Mr. Judge, I'm ready for to proceed. Attorney Horizon, can we proceed? Can we proceed? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Um, I feel like Horizon can get used to it. He's like a compliment. <laughs> Hey, wait, this is, um, speedrun strats for law school. <laughs> Step one, contact the developer of the game. Glad I could squeeze some empathy with you. Let's proceed then. Here I is discharged of conspiracy against the developer and possible murder of zombies. The prosecution calls the first witness to the stand. Oh. Please state your name and occupation. Commander Zed of the Zombie Armed Forces. <laughs> armed? You don't have firearms. Common misconception. We're called the Armed Forces because we use our arms to attack. <laughs> Mr. Fatherland, please from refrain from digressing us from the trial. I agree. Moving right along here. Wait, you look identical to the other zombies we encountered. Miss Motherland, our people find these kind of comments offensive. It's akin to saying all you humans look the same. Well, considering this art style, everyone kind of looks the same. Shit, I don't have the sound effect on my soundboard. As in, they look shit. <clears throat> Mr. Zed, you claim that Hirai's has unlawfully slaughtered your forces, am I right? Yes, slaughtered in the full sense of the word. Our peaceful homeland became a bloodbath. Peaceful, my ass. I heard that. You can read my thoughts? So can I. <laughs> yeah, they were displayed in a text box right there. We could all see it. So I can't even think privately? Mr. Zed, please provide your testimony regarding your eyes. <laughs> I should have put fucking Ace Attorney music on in the background. Uh, it'll be my pleasure. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn, you went the f extra fucking mile with this. That's awesome. <laughs> I stationed my troops at the forest as always. <laughs> Nothing particularly exciting happened for the first three hours. I heard the gate open, but didn't think much of it. Suddenly, I feel my hear my fellow zombies screaming and moaning for help. What do you mean I'm slipping in my JFK? <laughs> for which character? <laughs> which character? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lovely who rise right here killed them all for no reason. They were just standing there. Zombies won't hurt anyone. Not even a fly. They deserve a death sentence immediately. Mr. Zed, please refrain from these kind of statements. Oh yeah? The demands may now start the bullshit examination. Psst, your eyes. Maybe you're seen as an attorney to every else, but both of us know you're not actually one. Do you need me to, to, explain, <laughs> to explain how to perform the bullshit examination? Um, <laughs> sure, sure, but your explanation must be a haiku. Seriously? I see Motherland proved to be a negative influence on you. Do that, Fatherland. In return, I'll fulfill your request. I know how to call bullshit, too. Listen to statements. 
If you see lies, call them out. Do not lose court trust. That's about it, really. I can't decide whether I should be impressed or embarrassed by that. More! What? Seriously? I can try again if you want. I mean... I let you speak, now it's my turn. The with the witness <laughs> will testify again, but this time you will have the option to call bullshit on any one of his statements. <laughs> oh yes, the uh, Ace Attorney having the text with the where they're like speaking in thought, but like they're whispering it. We actually have um li like within our own canon. We've played the games ourselves, myself, my myself, and my friends. And we have, like, a canon that literally everybody else in the court, except for Phoenix, is a mind reader, so they can hear his thoughts at all times. It's a lot more funny, considering, like, certain statements, and we make, like, jokes about them hearing each other and stuff. But I, I love the idea that <laughs> that everyone can, like, everyone's thoughts are <laughs> immediately visible like this. Be careful not to call out neutral statements, or statements devoid of lies. You will lose the court's trust in your case. If you screw up five times, we'll lose the case, so consider what statements you call out. That's about it, really. Go get them, Tiger. I stationed my troops at the forest as always. Nothing particularly exciting happened for the first three hours. Well, I can't contest that. Heard the gate open. Didn't think of it. Suddenly I hear my zombies screaming and moaning for help. For no reason. They were just standing there. Bullshit. I was hurt. Mr. Zed, you said that your troops did nothing after noticing my arrival? Exactly. You just killed them. You also said, and I quote, Zombies won't hurt anyone, not even fly. I stand by that. Then how do you explain the fact that when approached, zombies pursued and then tried to kill me? Impossible. But I would never. Are you really going to take your eyes to testimony here? We waited out in the forest and we saw first hand how zombies attacked first. Fatherland is correct. Every zombie her eyes killed was into self-defense. What? So, your eyes is cleared of the, on the first charge on the count of self-defense. What? I do believe we have sufficient evidence to prove that zombies... No, I refuse to believe that zombies under my command did such a thing. Attacking humans on sight is outlawed. You can deny that all you want, but the courts unanimously testified that your zombies were aggro. So, let's move on to our second allegation against your eyes, which is... Shut the fuck up! Oh. I suspect this sort of language would judge could kick you kicked out of court. I will not rest until I get definitive proof that my zombies were hostile towards humans. And as I said... Proof that isn't you, people. I suggest you give him what he wants here, guys. We're going to be here all day otherwise. Can't you help us here? Hey, you started in this whole fiasco. You solved it. So, proof that zombies are possible. Tell them, you guys. I need objective proof. Huh. The, the guts pickups. Well, I could have gotten the guts pickups from anybody. That's not proof that they started attacking me. Um, shooting mechanics. No. Oh, I'm I'm trying to. Play, I bet I'm trying to play this smart, and I <laughs> I guarantee it's like the most like roundabout thing that I've got to do. Oh, am I gonna have to play through the whole game again if I get this one wrong? <laughs> oh. The starting town? Oh, okay. Oh, good. Okay, puzzle time. Um, the troops went... Well, the troops went rogue would, could be an explanation. The starting town? They do say that the, the end times are upon them, right? Uh... Sure. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna pick the starting town. OBJECTION! 
When I got into the starting town, it was protected by walls. Yeah, well, all human settlements are protected by walls. Have you considered why? You people are very protective. You lose your shit every time something is out of place in your little la la land. Or maybe it's due to zombies. Come again. Shopkeeper and the priest talked about the end times. Tell me, Zed, how did zombies come about? I reckon there weren't any zombies before those times. We rose from our graves one day. Loud noises, crazy sky, thunder, fire. Sounds like an apocalypse to me. Yes, I remember that happening a week ago. Yes, those are indeed signs of the end times. A week ago? That's when the sound walls were built to keep the zombies away. And, to top it all off, the gatekeeper advised me to have a weapon in hand because the zombies outside haunt humans. Just because someone says something, that doesn't mean it's true. The guy wouldn't let me out until I got an old pipe from the shopkeeper. So, considering that the walls were built to protect survivors from zombies, that you rose from the apocalypse, that I was advised to have a weapon on me at all times, and considering the motherland and fatherland's testimonies. Uh, uh, yes, it seems like abundant evidence to prove that zombies are hostile towards humans. But. Thank you, Mr. Zed. I think we prepared the massacre delegation. Goodbye. <laughs> Where did Zed go anyway? Um, he went to the place <laughs> where game assets are unloaded. <laughs> oh, I missed out on some banter. Aw. I'm definitely gonna have to go back and play that later. Moving right along here, our second allegation is conspiracy. I'll assume that's your allegation, Mr. NG. Correct. Well, you've managed to vindicate Paul. Well, you've managed to vindicate yourself of genocide, I'll reckon it'll be harder to vindicate yourself from conspiracy theorizing. Well, you have two fucked me over on this one, didn't you? What do you mean by conspiracy? Playing dumb now, huh? You know what I'm talking about. The phone call, the forest, the plans to kill me. You two were supposed to be villains. Professional killers in a land without law. Everyone sitting next to that table were supposed to have a big, epic boss fight at the end of the game. But no, you people just had to all fuck it all up, didn't you? You weren't happy. You just weren't happy with your role in your 15 minutes of glory. Wait, you were originally supposed to be the final boss of the game? Now that I think about it, you two, you two look like mobsters. You look like mobsters. I think, yeah, that totally checks out. Yes, but we've had a change of heart. What we told you over the phone and in the forest was genuine. How would you feel if you, if you knew how and when you die? We broke the system to free everyone from your quest, abolish evil, and just live in peace. A cute ideology. Your eyes read between the lines. They just want to save themselves. Order! Order! Says the person who started an apocalypse for some bullshit epic quest solely for her eyes. This is a video game! You people are not real! The only one who is, is Hiret! Well, also dancing, apparently dancing Edgy. <laughs> God damn it, my fourth wall is going to be so sore after this. Order! 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 This trial isn't about you, it's about Hiret. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh my god! Hello? Yeah, hi. Hi, Barnes. <laughs> I heard you. I heard, like, the sound you made, and I, I was like, wait a minute, that's not part of the game. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> hi, welcome to the trial. Hi. I, <laughs> you seem like you're having fun. Yeah, no. The developer's here, and I was like, I was like, oh, the real shit? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I called her eyes to speak on behalf of the defense. Great idea. I 
can trust your eyes completely on this. Let him have it. Don't fuck this up, your eyes. We were you. We were you from square one. We never lied. We really truly. You gotta steal my Z. <laughs> no, I had the Z first. That's true. <laughs> we really truthfully wanted to bring peace to these lands. Do you want to be on the stand on the same side as Ng? Free will is pretty, pretty epic in gay video games, so I'm gonna go with the monsters. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Motherland and fatherland are right. You can't just kill thousands of natives just for your bullshit plot. Are you sure about that? Yes. You know what, my distinguished guests? This game is getting really ridiculous. Why not make it even more so? Excuse me. You realize you are wasting the court's time. My trust and patience with you has reached zero. Wait, 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 wait. What? We still have five trust points, whatever they're called. No matter. This is a court of law and has very specific rules. If you are unable to do respect them by derailing the trial every five minutes, I have no choice. Are you going to close the case? Your eyes is found guilty on all accusations and sentenced to life. Woohoo! I get to walk! See ya! <laughs> Damn. Oh, you meant life in You're prison. <laughs> Sentenced to life? Are you kidding me? Wait. Don't believe him, sir. And she's taking control of you. Sentenced to life on our space prison. <laughs> Wait, what? A space prison? A motherfucking space prison? Wonders of technology. More specifically, bad reader in C plus code. <laughs> or C sharp, my bad. Isn't that insanely costly? In this game universe, sure is. But it also means we don't have to worry about you anymore. This is preposterous. Good night, your eyes. Oh shit, we're in space jail. Oh my god, you're going to space jail. You wake up confined to in a chair in what seems to be a space pod. Move this down. <laughs> It, it is a bit bigger than you, but not by much. It is very uncomfortable. The only light source is a lowly flickering fluorescent lamp. Judging from the ramen noodles floating in the air, the pod is zero G. You have been stripped of any and all clothes and weapons, and instead wear an orange jumpsuit with a barcode as identification. It's a desk lamp, a bunch of ramen noodles floating in the air, a monitor in front of you, and your share. V. Oh, the dev says hint lamp, so I'm <laughs> I'm gonna move the content warning off screen. Yes, 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 it means good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, uh <laughs> Frog fractions. This is a regular um, desk lamp. Th thanks. <laughs> this is a fantastic lamp. Thank you so much for the hint. I'm gonna eat the ramen. Speaking of meat, what did everyone have for dinner tonight? I have to ask that every time. Yeah, I keep forgetting to ask it on my streams. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm like reading it. You repeatedly open and close your mouth, hoping to catch some stray ramen. Oh shit, thank you for the follow, Bipso220. <laughs> You've received the glare. <laughs> the few noodles you've managed to eat taste horrible. You are no longer hungry. This fact won't help with any puzzles or anything. I just thought you'd like to know that. Um, I do, yeah. Oh, speak to the lamp. Um, oh, I can speak to the lamp now. What? You say a few words towards the lamp. It continues floating in the air. It's a regular desk lamp. It won't answer you. <laughs> can, can I kiss the lamp? Discuss climate change with the lamp. <laughs> it's a desk lamp. If it didn't answer it when you said hi to it, why do you think talking to it about politics would do the trick? That's just how Twitter works. Discuss U.S. domestic policy with the lamp. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna radicalize, radicalize the fuck out of this lamp. Yes. Changing the subject won't change the fact you're just talking to yourself and making yourself look like you have serious issues. No, I think it's the United States that has some serious issues, and I think we should discuss domestic yeah, policy. Yeah, we should discuss that on this stream. On this specific stream. Um, first of all, fracking. 
<laughs> my dad. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. My dad works works on oil fields, and I have never heard a man. <sighs> he told me that he won't get flu shots. Oh. And um, also, we get into arguments about climate change all the time. Who and also, your... he's just dead wrong about a lot of shit. Who was your bathtub made to bathe, Lamp? Because it clearly not wasn't you. It... No, you can't even- No, no, don't do the full one! Oh yeah. Hey, who was your bathtub made to bathe, Lamp? Not you. Not you. Let, Let yourself, yourself be radicalized, be radicalized but this. Discuss Israeli-Palestinian conflict with the Lamp. You learned that the Lamp advocates for a two-state solution. Really now? No, not really, you fuck lambs can't talk. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'm at fault here. I'm the one who gave me the option to keep talking to the lamp. So I can't really blame you for clicking on every single one of them and seeing what happens. And frankly, all this came made me, all this made me really tired. I don't feel like writing the actual text adventure anymore. There, so there you go. Congratulations, you beat the game. Let's call this the lamp ending or something. You've made me so jaded and pissed off that you won the game. Congratulations, <laughs> feel free to close it and leave me to my misery. Triumphantly accept your ending. <laughs> Woo! Oh my god. Reset text adventure. Oh. Inspect monitor. Although it's right in front of you, you are tied to your chair and cannot directly interact with it. Try to break free. Your legs and arms are tied to the chair. You move around sporadically, trying to break free. After a short while, you give up. These chains are tough. However, the monitor right in front of you springs to life. I love the lamp ending. <laughs> I'm, I'm obsessed with that lamp. <laughs> Apparently triggered by your movement, the monitor lights up. It makes a short startup jingle. After booting up, it displays the following. President, prisoner who rise. I thought that said president for a second. I was like, wait a minute, they the president has been kidnapped by you. <laughs> wait a minute, I'm the president now. <laughs> the president has been kidnapped by you guys. <laughs> you bad enough dude to kiss with Tom. Quick, motherland, fatherland, I need you to kiss me with Tom. <laughs> Time left in solitary confinement, life sentence. I'm if you believe this to be a mistake, shout help to call support. Help. Wait, 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 wait. Uh... A rotating circle appears in the middle of the screen, along with the words processing. After a few seconds, a synthesized voice comes under the monitor. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. If you experience issues, please say help. Say help again. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you with the whelp. Do you want to search a whelp all mine? Yes. <laughs> Here's what I found. Whelp is a word often used in place of well when a person feels no more can be said about something. Used to express helplessness or dumbfoundedness. Example. Well, we fucked up with the space prison. Now the prisoners can release themselves if they say our secret phrase. Fucking amazing job. <laughs> I love this. What is the secret phrase? Schadenfreude, why? Schadenfreude. Secret phrase accepted. The chains holding your arms and legs are released. You are now floating in the space pod. I can't, I can't believe <laughs> I, I went with the yes because, because I wanted to be like, like weird because I do that all the time, but I didn't realize that was the actual, I didn't realize that the actual solution. That's the ultimate- I wasn't paying attention because I got asked to put my brother to bed. That's the what? ultimate ADHD mood, I think. You know, yeah. Finding finding the answer, but like in a different way, in a different way than like working it out the like doing the math problems differently or whatever. Do you remember when we were playing Professor Layton, which we needed to play more of, and we like went really in depth on the math to figure out a question, uh, figure out a puzzle. And the game was like, "That's right, it's this simple." And you were like, "No, it was uh, um, it was the weights. It was the it was the weights or whatever, wasn't it?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was the weights. No, you cheat. No, 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 no. The weights you cheated at. This I one was like a this. This one was like triangles. Oh, was it? 
Yeah, it was like uh, the length of a line. And it was like, that's <laughs> right. If you move this down here, you if you ch- change the angle, then it will be this, the same as this shape. Oh my and, god. But we had done, like, math. <laughs> like, I forget like, you that. you opened Psy, I opened, I, like, took out a notebook. We... Oh, did did we? I'm gonna have to go back and look for that. I don't remember what which uh, which one that was, and the vods are probably gone from uh, Twitch now. But we are gonna have to do Professor Layton sometime this week. Now that we bring yes. it up, um, hey, did you upload them? I uploaded three of them, and I lost I lost the the fourth session unfortunately because I didn't export it in time. Oh, um, all right. But we'll keep we'll keep doing it. We'll keep doing it. <laughs> we, yeah, we got so much worse at the latent puzzles as time went on. It was either the, I think it was the second one. At some I point, we got so, we, we get one. we get really fr- fucking frustrated. These games were not built for us. You you feel around the pod looking for a way out. You hit your head on the ceiling and walls a few times. You manage to find a secret button hidden on the roof of the pod. Press a button. You hit the button. The monitor turns red and the words "emergency override" flash on the screen. The pod accelerates downward towards the earth. As the pod picks up more and more speed, you are dragged back to your chair, unable to move from the extreme G-force. After a few seconds, you hear a loud thump. The pod crashes on the earth and shakes everything in it. You receive multiple head wounds from the crash, but luckily (laughs) nothing major. The pod opens, revealing barren desert land. Oh! Hi! Hi. Oh, hello. Hello. I've been waiting here for you to wake up for about two hours now. (laughs) I admit it's a lovely view, but it got boring after a while. So now that you're awake and all gillied up, we can end this properly. Motherland and Fatherland sent you to kill me? Cool. Let's have a final battle. Right here, right now, like in the old days. Come on, it'll be fun. I'll even let you make the first move. Whoa. Earthbound! This is good. You try to flee, but an invisible wall stops you. <laughs> I'm gonna let you out that easily. <laughs> Inventory oh. empty. Oh. Well. <laughs> Punch in his face. Oh, thanks for the 370 something damage. Is it supposed to be dramatic? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. We're a bunch. We are a bunch of joker, jokers and goobers, and uh, we do laugh a lot. We're so silly. And this is incredibly loud. It's good music. It's just incredibly loud. I cannot hear my, my good friend Barnaby over it. Hang on. I didn't mute it. I, I just clicked out of the window. Don't worry. <laughs> Do I have any? No? One. We're just a bunch of silly billies. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You forgot to let me run? <laughs> oh, balance. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think it's a little end of five. No! My favorite characters! This shouldn't anger or sadden you. It should make you happy. Those two used you. Oh, I'm dead. dead I know. You're doing so well. Well, so far, my friend. You'll die on this. I came up and returned to my original vision. Well, we're done. Your eyes, boys. What if I just died? Hi. Oh. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I died. Don't worry about it. You died. I did. Oh. I did press any. Oh, God mode after. Did you miss a- <gasps> Motherland and Fatherland! Let's finish the job! What the hell is your back? The fucking god mode? Get the fuck kill those rebels. Well, no matter. You wanna play that way? Fine, let's dance, motherfucker. Yeah! Big button! <laughs> you give dancing and you don't think your emotional crit. See, you were kidding. More emotional damage. (laughs) I can't.
can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer. Fuck. Emotional crit. Defeated! Well, I guess this is it then. It's been nice knowing you. Good night and good luck on your future endeavors. Oh! Oh, hey, 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 hey. Yeah? I'm gonna go for about half an hour. I'll be back later. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, yeah. Scooter. I don't know how much longer this is gonna take. I know, but... I feel like you're gonna stream for longer than an hour. Maybe. I don't know. D it totally depends on how I feel by the end of this. Hello, here, eyes. Okay, well, it's been one hour and you started earlier than usual. I did. Anyways, I'll be back later. Bye-bye. Hello, Hurais. This is Motherland. I'm calling to tell you that everything's fine. Angie pulled the plug on you, yes, but we're still alive. And we- Two more endings! Oh. Incredible. Well, one's the ending that I- the- at the end of- in the trial. I- I assume that they're based on the trial, yeah? But we're still alive, and we've decided to settle in the starting town. I'm taking this opportunity to do something I don't think I've ever done in my life. That being apologizing. I apologize for you. I apologize for using you and our own. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I apologize for using you for our own goals against your will. I apologize for being flamboyant, rude, and generally for ruining every sensible plan we had. No, don't apologize for that. That's incredible. I apologize to you, Her Eyes, for taking you into some stupid adventure that took us right back to where we were before. I should also apologize for this somewhat anticlimactic ending. Hell, at this point, I should apologize for apologizing too much. But I just wanted to get this off my chest. This feeling has been haunting me ever s from the moment you were convicted. There was a pretty good chance you won't even receive this transmission. And even if you do receive it, you might not accept my apology. But I just wanted to know that I feel guilty for all that has happened. I think this is it, really. I haven't informed Fatherland about doing this, and frankly, I don't know if I should. The point is, I'm sorry. No sarcasm. No BS. No joking. Goodbye, and thanks for everything. Woo! Alright, let's go get those two more endings. This is, but this has been really, really good and fun so far, Dancing NG. The ADHD ending. <laughs> we just zip-zoomed zip to, to all places. Okay, the trial. <laughs> Using the power of friendship to kill God. Alright, let's go to the trial. I'm gonna skip through most of the dialogue here just because we've already seen this. Um, I, I'm. <clears throat> but. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, that's right. That's right. I can skip dialogue with town. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I know how to. <laughs> Bullshit! Whee! I do want to do the sarcastic thing, yes. <laughs> sarcastic. <laughs> Excuse me. Sarcastic. What the fuck? There was supposed to be a sarcastic answer there. Sarcastic answer? Yeah, Rice was supposed to say a sarcastic remark, not literally say sarcastic. Sarcastic. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> um. I'm sorry, it's my mistake. Don't kick them out or anything. May I ask why the hell do you have an option for her eyes to utter a sarcastic remark on there in the first place? Sarcastic. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Anyways, starting down. Wee. Oh, bye. So I can go with I'm gonna go with and do this time. I admit, dancing in G's right. Pardon? We're here for fun and entertainment, and stories without some sort of conflict are hard to translate in the game. I don't think it's ethical to derail an entire video game and drag me into all this. And 
Angie, I have a question. Why are we villains? Because I felt a pair of fair, uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> because I felt a pair of professional killers with different personalities would make for good villains? I mean, these kinds of pairs are usually protagonists. Why not make them into villains for once? Been there, done that. Still. He may have been able to convince you, Fatherland, but not me. What about those who died in the end times? Nothing much we can do about them, unfortunately. But then again, the land is vacant. It's a new world. One can reboot the world, but then the whole game is gone. I'll have to write a new plot to accommodate. The game would become plotless, nonsensical mask. A bit like what it is right now. So it's possible, but it's gonna take a while? Don't you think the benefits of the many outweighs the burden of one? Good luck killing the system. If you break the system, you break the game, and the entire system collapses. So I have to find a way to crash Unity. Hmm, good to know. What do you suggest? I'm not just playing this game. Nah, that's pretty much the most pretentious message you could put in a video game. Still, I, I still believe everything you say is bullshit. You're a psychotic killer. Even if Horizon Fatherland believe it. <laughs> Crash, crashing Unity is a game really the game. Yeah. Look, either you play your original goddamn role, or I make a new game with a whole new plot and characters. This is not an ideal situation for anyone. Horizon, you are wasting the court's time. My trust and patience with you has reached zero. Wait, 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 what? Oh, we've already done this. Good night, Rise. I'm sorry you have to go this route. This is against them, not you. Oh. Press tilde to jump back to the main menu. Uh. From here, from the text adventure? Um. I am pressing it, it's not. Oh, that's the music. I was worried. Uh. Mm. I'll just do the desk. Yeah, I'll do the desk lab thing again. That that gets us to the that get the desk lamp gets us to the main menu, right? Oh, I can crash the game. I am trying. Oh. Oh, I just pressed the escape key. There we go. Okay. Uh. But then I can go and try the other one. Speedrun strats. Let's do. Speedrun strats. Uh, continue. Continue. Bullshit. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, start in town. It's getting really pretentious, you're taking it too seriously. What? What's next? Some kind of bullshit moral message saying the only way to win th the game is not to play at all? No, and just- It's a very stupid game and you're all taking it way too seriously. How the fuck did we go from a comedic survival horror game to philosophical discussions about fictional characters again? Well, I guess who rises right. Yes, a little self-awareness is always good. I'm sorry, people. I just wanted to make something all oh, inciting and interesting. It seems I got from cheesy fourth brawl breaks to pretentious ones. I guess it's the sort of thing that happens when you write by the seat of your pants. Heartwarming. So, uh, can we leave this drab courthouse and go back to that shooting game thing? Yeah, at least that was fun. Yeah, sure. Let's kill some zombies. You know, NG, the writing of this game is still kind of eh. Yeah, I feel like the Matrix thing was a bit overused nowadays. Do you want to shoot zombies or not? Come on, here, guys, let's go! Fuck yeah! Oh, shit! Woo! That was really bad. No chance of winning. <laughs> Damn, the gun is loud. Uh, 
Dude. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't get the other ending. Oh shit. Shit, I'm gonna go do that. Do I have to kill all the zombies? I have to kill all the zombies for it. Oh. Oh well. Oh yeah, the, I, have, I can offer you a battle. You have no chance of winning. Oh well, I'll just I'll go back and I'll kill all the zombies. Okay, cool. Yeah. through this for two years. What good is the sequence if you know every move and every twist? So I propose the toughest final boss fight I can conceive. The battle fought but not talked about. Feelings. You'll see what I mean in a bit. Brace yourself. Oh. I don't know her. I wish I were kidding. Motherland and Fatherland ought to find us at some point. They've transcended so far up the sentence ladder, I have no idea where they are or what they're doing. The good part is, though, that it'll get us some quiet time to talk. Away from all the digital noise and the randomness and the silliness and the bullshit. I can finally have some real talk with you, guys. So, uh, hi there. You know me as Dancing Engine, or just Engie. My real name is, uh, Alon Carmi. It's a strange name for non-Hebrew speakers to hear because it sounds like alone to them, as in by yourself. I remember talking to this Swede a few years back. She introduced herself, and then I said hi, I'm alone. So there was this tense, awkward silence until I had an oh shit moment, and I quickly said, no, that's my name, I'm Alon. So that's why I usually go by my nickname in a lot of situations, including this game, coincidentally. The name you entered at the beginning, your eyes, it's also a nickname, isn't it? I mean, yeah, a little bit. Now that we're he here by ourselves talking, I think it's best we talk honestly, without these masks and nicknames. I mean, do whatever you want, just a little bit.
Right, so, what is Ultra ADHD about? Not really. What's the theme? The message? I heard a lot of different interpretations. In truth, it's a drunken self-insert fic. But really, what is it about? I call it a game about themes. I still stand by that. I don't know what this is really- that what this is really about. I wrote it all on a whim, with the sole intention of putting everything I love and find funny into one game. I'd f call it a nonsense game if I were hard-pressed to find a serious definition. But then it got a bit of traction. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it was enough for me to get a little ego trip over it. An ironic ego trip, obviously. Let's players played it. I got a lot of nice comments on Itch and Game Jolt. I even got a few messages on Twitter by people who said, I really love your game, and it inspired me to make my own games. There's also this one guy who asked for my approval to make a fan game. I expected a love it or hate it response, but he was kind of really positive one. Oh. And I'm really excited for it, but at the same time I can't help but feel a bit weird about it. At some point in 2018, I got an email from a guy at Slamdance saying they wanted to showcase you ADHD at the festival. I said, sure, go ahead. I gave them all the documents they needed. And I didn't, I didn't fly to the States because getting a visa is a fucking nightmare. But in my mind, I went, this shit? You want to showcase this shit? This shit? With its excuse arts tell drawn only because I can't model or draw? This shit that keeps making fun of its own writing? Because any decent piece of writing or, or writing is either a reference or a crass joke? This shit that tries to vary up its gameplay so much it winds up being flat and disjointed? Really? This shit? I've been making video games with my friends since 2007. Back when Game Maker was bought by Yo-Yo Games. At my prime, I had a new game out every other week. We used sprite sheets I got from shady websites and shady mini covers of songs we loved. I remember being obsessed with Blue by Eiffel 65 at the time, so I had a mini rendition of it be the main theme of a space shooter. I uploaded them to the now deactivated Yo-Yo Games sandbox, and it was wonderful. I was just happy to put my games out there and have people enjoy them broken and unfinished as they may be. I wish I could have this feeling of wonder and creation again. Now I believe that I'll only be happy if I make this huge narrative with lots of characters and mechanics. Why? Because fuck me, indie games are incredible nowadays. I want to make a game, the same game that inspired me to make games in the first place. Every time I think of a smaller game idea like Monster AGSG, I have to pump it up in my head to meet my standards. I abandoned so many projects because they didn't line up with my vision. I felt they never would. I... yeah, I... I don't want to say, like, oh, imposter syndrome because that feels a little ingenuine, but, like, yeah, I totally relate. It's heavy. Sorry about that. I'm using the ending to get things off my chest. When you make a game built on irony and satire, it's hard to talk about heavy shit. Funny thing is, this game was- this ending was in my head since 2016. If I ran from the final JRPG battle three times, Angie would give up and talk to you about the development of the game until you quit the game. But now, armed with two years of retrospect, I feel like it looks significantly better now than it would have been in 2016. Just stay with me. We're gonna get a bit darker, though. One of my favorite gaming moments in normal time comes from Saints Row 4. You drive with Prince to a mission location, where both of you start singing opposites to a track together. It's such a hearty moment. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. I fucking love that mission. I smile the whole way through. I love this set piece to bits. It's a game where you are literally stuck in a simulation with superpowers. But it still finds the time to have these little bonding moments with its characters. I love media that presents itself as trashy or lowbrow, but reveals a heart of gold underneath. Because that's emotion and heart, and that is art. 
being honest and human and genuine is art. At least if you ask me. So I guess... I don't feel proud of Ultra ADHD. Not only because it doesn't live up to my standards of what a good game is like. It's deeper than that. I don't feel proud of UAHD because it doesn't live up to my standards of what I really like about media and writing and art. I still like parts of the game, sure. I sure do like the concept, but it's harder for me to talk about it as a whole. I'm so not so sure of it. I even spilled it a bit earlier when we were talking about how heavy this entire thing is, but when you indulge so heavily in irony and jokes and things, what you gain in comedy, you lose in emotional cohesion and genuineness. That is also an apt description of the person I was in 2016 and 2017, when I was developing Ultra ADHD and for a while afterwards. I'm not saying one should release themselves from all irony and satire, just saying to keep a balance, like the art I hold so dear to my heart. I was always making fun of everything, alienating my friends, while being very confused and sheltered with my emotions. Looking back, I want to punch 26 feet me in the goddamn face. It's embarrassing for me to think about, but... I was once told that feeling like shit about your past self is a very mature feeling. God, I, I feel that super hard. So, I guess I'm a big boy now. You matured. Yeah. The game's mature. I like this game. But yeah, I think your feelings are important. So, for me to say I don't care what you think is, again, Pretty disingenuous. I know, and I have matured. That is a double-edged sword. As I grew up, I started watching more and more game reviewers and journalists. It made me more opinionated and perspective person, but it also made me critical of my own creations and robbed me of that free-spirited attitude I had to dedicate to them. I can identify and articulate every flaw in my games, and those are the only things I'm able to see. I'm not saying that critics in any way are malicious, or that you can't criticize me or my creations, but I'll be shit on me on Twitter or whatever. I'm saying that it made me a lot more self-conscious about my creations, for all the positive and negatives that it trails. Yeah, I kind of, I feel that way too. I, I'm an artist. I, I know this is about you, but I can't... <laughs> It's like a personal thing. I also feel that way. Like, it's so much easier to see the flaws in your own art that you, um, in, in the art that you make, and you think, oh god, <laughs> As somebody's gonna notice that and they're gonna think, oh, I'm such a, I'm, they're such a shitty artist, how could they possibly leave that unpainted pixel in there? Yeah, it's fucking sucks. So this, yeah feel super relatable. Video games have also become such a creative and commercial force since 2007. It's incredible. Everything is finding its audience and the indies are killing it, but it's all ten times as competitive. It's quite the dream to be a successful indie these days. Your favorite ending was the lamp ending, wasn't it? The ending about pissing off someone off so much that he quits his job and lets you win. Mentally, I feel like I've been, been on this track for a bit. Certainly since I started my, let's call it, day job. In late 2016, it drained me so much, I had trouble working on anything creative. I'm getting back to it, though. I think I covered everything. Look, if there's one piece of advice I can give you, it's this. Don't get hung up on definitions. If you make films, you're a filmmaker. If you make games, you're a game dev. You don't need validation from anybody to do what you love. You can learn anything nowadays. Just go for it, Chris. And five... Uh, Kusumek, they found us. Uh, I hope... I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly. Oh, damn, they got my shotgun. Impressive. I guess that's how they got you into god mode. They vented quite enough. I've just relived 
gem just relieved everything's off my chest. I want to move on to other things. I want to say that I've concluded this chapter of my life. I can't stop burrowing this game forever. Honestly, if any of this cut to you in any way, then I'm a satisfied man. If not, thanks for listening anyways. That shoddy will kill me with one shot, as all video shotguns should. God, yeah, you're right about that. It's been a pleasure, Chris. I hope you had fun. Good night, and good luck on your future endeavors. streamer that you've seen playing this game, but um, Alon, if that's how it's pronounced, um, I guess having you in chat here tonight, uh, there's something, I guess, about that final ending that made it feel a lot more like a, like a conversation, like a personal conversation. Maybe, I don't know, but yeah, it felt... I, I feel like I'm maybe going to cry a little bit too. <laughs> um, thank you so much for, for stopping by. Um, I didn't know how long this game was going to go on, but I honestly didn't have anything else planned for the rest of the stream. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, fun. Oh my god. Uh, Dude, I hope you are still finding, you know, creation, creative passions. I'm um, definitely, I'll check, I, I probably, I'll go to, like, itch and I'll check out the, the, your, the rest of your stuff. I, um, dude, this is a fucking incredible experience, I just want to say. <laughs> but, um, I think, um... Oh, you're helping to, to make a another game? Oh, my god. I'm gonna have to definitely check that. I'm gonna have to check out other stuff on your page at some point. Thank you so much. Again, again, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, is, what was that? I'm sorry, there was something outside my window. I, this is a game I literally, I just found it while I was browsing for horror stuff, and I didn't think I was gonna relate so hard, but thank you so much for creating it, thank you so much, again, so much for stopping by, and for helping me through, through each of the different <laughs> endings, um, and thank you to everybody else for tuning in for however long you tuned in, um, <laughs> Oh man, T take care everybody, good night. Um, more sp I know this was a much shorter stream than I normally do, but uh, I'm gonna have more spooky stuff planned throughout the month. Oh. And, uh, good night, good night. Take care everyone.